Welcome guys, Easty and the Wolf. Little quick tip here for Oculus users. If you don't know about this, it's a really good way of making it a lot easier to use. Since uh, we've had development kit one and two, that we've had a problem. It's really a bit of a nightmare setting up uh, using your Oculus on your PC because it's meant to use in a direct mode where you basically plug the Oculus in and then as soon as you launch the application, you just put the Oculus on and it ports it to it. But most of the demos and games that people have been releasing, and obviously it's development kit, and we hope or assume this won't be the case on the uh, commercial version, is that they only work in extended mode. This means you have to set the Oculus up as a, as a second or third screen on your setup. And then they also don't really work, or it's hard to get them to display on the Oculus and let you set the screen as primary. Now in Windows, this affects everything, because it always tries to launch everything in primary mode. And if you've ever tried an Oculus, it may be very uh, friendly when you put it on and you're in a game or something and you can see where you are. But if you try and look at a, a general Windows desktop through Oculus, it's very difficult. You've got the optics distort things for one and the screen split in two. So one side's on what left eye, one side's on right. And I would challenge anybody who's owned a DK2 or DK1 to have not have tried to find Windows with their Oculus on and they're squinting through it. It's quite a, it's very annoying, very annoying indeed. Now, one of the fixes for this is OBS. It's free software that a lot of streamers use and uh, YouTubers to capture a, a lot of stuff. Now, it's free. It's completely free. Just search OBS. You can find it. And at the moment, you're looking at my Oculus screen. So by default, if I launch something, like this is my webcam options, it comes on my Oculus screen. Now, I can't see that on my uh, main screens. And I don't have my, if I try and put my Oculus on, it's extremely difficult. Like this is my left eye, this is my right eye, and it's very distorted. So to even find this, I find one cheat is if you click it in the start bar and press your Windows key, hold your Windows key, click the icon in your start bar, which is duplicated across your screens. And then you can use your arrow keys to try and get the window over, but it's a nightmare. And every so often, everything, your icons on your desktop will all flick over to that screen. So using OBS like this, you can, uh, I'll switch my monitors now so I can show you OBS. This may look a bit crazy, but uh, let's try it. Okay, so now you can see OBS and you can see that it's actually mirroring the image and we're getting that cool effect. So down here, we can just set up a quick scene, call it whatever you want. And then within the sources, you create a, uh, create a monitor capture. And then under there, which it's showing now, so that's good. You can choose the actual monitor. Now this will change for for me. It's the moment it's number one. So if I put on number one, it will flick back to my Oculus. But it, and number two is my like my left screen. Number three is my right screen. But that's nice and simple. Normally it jumps all over the place, so I have to play with that. And then when we OK, and uh, you'll have to press Preview. Or you, I mean, you don't need to start recording. You can just use the Preview mode, and then you'll be able to see what's on your Oculus screen, which is. You know, as soon as you figure this out, if you've been using Oculus for a while, like well, I used it a long time before I figured this out, it was just wow. It's just like everything's different now. It's so much easier, so less frustrating. Another great thing I like, if you do have two monitors, so you have a spare monitor not including your Oculus, you can right click on the screen here and do projector. And you can put the Oculus, whatever is on the Oculus, you can put it on this spare screen using OBS. So it'll just duplicate everything that's on there. Especially good if you're recording what's on your Oculus and you want to put overlays on there with your you know, your video camera or text or whatever and you can see everything on your spare screen as you're recording it. Much better than this little OBS window. So yeah, if you're an uh, Oculus user, hopefully this video will be completely irrelevant come 2016 when uh, the uh, consumer version of Oculus CV1 is out. Uh, but until then, I hope this has helped someone because it really helped me when I figured out I could use Oculus for this. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.